this is Graham Roberts. Well, did you see the movie Hidden Figures last year? Perhaps you didn't see it in the cinema, but you've just seen it on a DVD or on television. Well, there's a curious quadratic inside that movie. But first, let's just say that the movie is the story of some black women from the 1960s in the United States who pioneered as mathematicians and engineers and contributed to the NASA space program. It focuses on a particular gifted child, Catherine, who eventually becomes a female computer. Yes, yes, even back then, yes, it was a person who was a mathematician and number crunched was called a computer at NASA. Indeed, she became world famous and you can see the link there to Wikipedia to find out more about her. That's a picture of her uh, in 2008. She's still, at this time, 2017, with us on the Earth, uh, and she's about 98, I think. Well, in the movie Hidden Figures, Catherine, seen here as a child at seven, uh, is very clever. And uh, you can see on the blackboard there, behind her, a quadratic, x squared plus 6x minus 7 multiplied by 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 and that product gives rise to the value of 0. That means it can be solved because as the child in the movie you'll see actually says that it means that x squared plus 6x minus 7 is 0 or 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 is 0 because you can only get uh, a result of 0 from a product of two numbers if one of the numbers is zero. Well, uh, both could be zero, I suppose. Anyway, let's move on. This is the equation so that you might like to stop this video and write it out and have a go at solving it. Can you solve this equation? You only get a partial solution if you watch the movie, by the way. But don't worry, I'm going to show you an actual solution. Have a go. Well, this is her writing it up on the board, as you can see. This is way back in, I think, the 50s, 1950s, that this would have been if this uh, the documentary is reporting something from the 1950s, I think. And here she is doing a, uh, this is what I've done. And you can see uh, behind us some of the solutions there. Now, um, I'll just move on. And here's my solution. As you can see there, I factorize x squared plus 6x minus 7 into x plus 7 multiplied by x minus 1. Either x plus 7 is 0 or x minus 1 is 0. We can deduce what x is in that case. And in the second case as well, we get the factors of 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 are 2x plus 1 and x minus 3. Right, well, since the product is 0, one of the factors being multiplied must be 0. We can zero in on the solution by factorising the quadratic equations on the left-hand side and then the right-hand side. Applying the same logic, one of those expressions must resolve to 0 on evaluation, meaning we can deduce the value of x in each case. For instance, if x plus 7 is equal to 0, x must equal minus 7. So x can be minus 7, 1, minus a half, or 3. And as I say here, I couldn't do that at age 7. Now, I'm not going to tell you when I could do that, but it was a lot older. Thank you for watching.